It's all connected. 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 All the important stuff right here on this Monday, December 28, 2020. And I say we, I mean myself, Grimner, and the wonderful Miss Circle. Ooh, here to hit up the important shit. Yeah, yeah. So uh, anyway, welcome to everybody out there listening, tuned in from wherever you may be tuned in from. Right here on RealLibertyMedia.com, over there on RLMRadio.xyz. Maybe you're tuned in from Tune In. <laughs> Ooh. People do that, you know. And uh, head on over here to the chat that? if you're not in here and talk to all the chat with all the chatters that are here in the pound pound Real Liberty Media channel on irc.freedode.net. And uh, you can have a good old time over here. We have the friendliest sheriffs in all of town. Sheriffs? We got sheriffs in yeah. here? Let me kick them yeah, damn I, sheriffs I out see, of here. I see six sheriffs right now. Oh, they aren't sheriffs. <laughs> well, they got stars and everything. Well, on mine, all they have is like the at symbol. Okay? They don't have yeah, stars. Yeah, well, that's, with, you know, the right pinch of your eyes, it can look like sheriff stars. Okay. Well, I've never... Uh, uh, arrested anybody, given anybody a ticket, put anybody in a cage, kicked anybody's ass for looking at me the wrong way, or any of those things that sheriffs tend to do. But that's because you're a weirdo. Well, I am a weirdo, and I don't know if that's yeah. why, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> if it was up to me, I would wipe out 99.9999% of all laws that are on the books. The only things that would exist are, as Grammy says, no stealing, which means... No stealing. Yeah, which, which means uh, no stealing can basically comes down to you can't do anybody any harm. Because if you do somebody harm, you are stealing some part of their life. If you steal steal their property, you're stealing some part of their life, something they worked for, something they, they had to put in effort to get. Uh, no putting anybody in a cage because uh, that's stealing their life directly. Um, or, you know, killing somebody, of course, is also stealing their life directly. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's that's today's topic. Uh, for those of you that are unaware, it is all the important stuff. <laughs> all the important stuff. Or it was expanded, but I, 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 I contracted it. Um, not, yeah. not I didn't contract it like a... Like people contract the corona because that doesn't exist. Um, the corona, they cor can, you, you know. Corona bologna. Corona, corona. Corona bologna. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, so uh, anyway, um, where do you want to yeah. go with your girly topic? Well, I figured because you know this is. Um, you know, the time of year where you make status, right? Status? Yeah, where you kind of stub up and you go, oh, so was this a good year? What will, you know, what will I make my 2021 about? And, you know, lots of people do that, right? Okay, sure. I'm yeah, not people, one of them. People make resolutions and stuff. Um, so, uh, you know, and you could do it right here as a chat. Too, okay, I'm, I'm, you know, every, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say anything much. I don't know. Everything I seems to say today seems to go sit wrong with Moose Girl. What's that again? So, uh, I'm 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 terribly sorry, Moose Girl, if everything I say is weird and awkward and, and wrong to you. Um, I hope you will endure an hour of the Danglish, though. See, now you can you can you can do that right there, just like that, and and put your resolution. And so everybody knows. Yeah. So everybody knows what your what your thing is there. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm just Not, like, uh, uh, I, to me, making status is all about the stuff that you're grateful for and all the important stuff that um, 
that, you know, you center your life around. No, it's okay, Moose, to chat. I just, you know, it seems like everything I say is kind of wrong to you. And I didn't mean for that. Well, you know. I didn't mean to insult you with the sheriff. I didn't mean to say anything weird about the weirdos. Uh, yeah, we're not sheriffs. Just talk. We're, we're, not, we're not sheriffs here. <laughs> we're, but we're, you are, though. We're, 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 we, we are not Andy Griffith, and we are also not the Deputy Barney. Um, <laughs> so. But to me, you are the little sheriff. I see the little sheriff stars. Could I be, could I be Barney? <laughs> sure. Of course, Moose, you are allowed everything you will. All you will. I'm just, you know. Uh. You are more than allowed, Moose Go. Yeah, of course. Yeah, she, uh, absolutely. But to me, this is a time of, you know, because now you're entering a new year, and uh, I was thinking a lot about that this week. Well, tell, tell, me this about before, about, whole... tell, tell me this before you get to that. Did, okay. did you make any resolutions for 2020? No, I don't make resolutions. Well, what's the status then? I mean, that's your, it's kind of a resolution. I was getting to that. Oh, all right, sorry. Excuse me. No, no, it's okay. interrupt. Well, it's because we were, we just went through the uh, shortest day, right? So now we're moving towards the light again, right? Yes, we are. That's sort of a new phase, right? You go from from July when you were moving towards the darkness, and now we're moving to, towards the, the light, right? Yeah. So for me, that's kind of entering a new phase. Or, okay, but that, I mean, that's know. that's something that just happens every year because the way the... Sun and the but earth it's an, it's a work together. Great time to pause up and break and you know stop up and say, okay, so what was all the important stuff to me that I want to bring and grow with me in the new, in the next you know, in the next half year? Okay, well, um, right? for me, I did. What do I want the next light thing about? It? For, for me, I, I did make a resolution this this past year. Uh, you did, and that was to get more sleep and. I've how, yeah, how did that go for you? Pretty well, actually. Um, you know, maybe maybe only an extra hour or so per night, but um, it, no, it, it did all right. I just, uh, uh, yeah, no, it, it did. It, I did pretty good with that. So, um, and did, did it? I, I'm I'm sure you had a, you know, a, another goal with sleeping more than just sleeping more, right? No, no, it was pretty much it. Just sleeping more, because well. Um, you know, instead of getting four, maybe five hours a night, I, I get five or six. So so did that have a beneficial effect on you, getting more sleep? A be- beneficial? Yeah, it was It was yeah. definitely beneficial. Um, okay. Yeah, I, 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 you know, uh, it's it's good to sleep a little, you know, to, to get at least, I think, I think six hours um, than, than uh, you know, four. <laughs> it, it helps you feel a little better during the day. Uh, that, that's all. That, that, that's what it does. I mean, it does, there's no real like major change or anything along those lines. Um, it, it just it just makes you feel a little better. Uh, you, you know, a little you're, you're a little more rested, so you're a little more. Yeah. Uh, you know, I can't do the whole non-sleep thing. Your cognitive abilities are improved, and um, yeah. Hey, that sounded sarcastic, Moose. <laughs> Moose said, "Only certain chatters are allowed to be sarcastic or ask questions." Uh, well, no, that, that, that's, 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 I, I, I have no idea what I did to insult or piss off Moose this evening. I am very sorry about that, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and just not read the chat because it's very distracting with all this. It, it, it is. It um, is. It is distracting. But, it is. Yeah. Um, sarcasm, I think, is almost required here in this chat. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would say so. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't tend to seek allowance over it, right? Right. Yeah. So, but I just figured that we could do a show about all the important stuff. Okay. All that uh, that's still important, no matter how bad the world looks or whatever happens out there, or um, whom or how you might piss off somebody. There is still some important stuff that is worth taking along, you know, for the next phase of the ride, right? Right. Now, um, what the 
hell was I thinking? I, I, <laughs> oh, I was going to, okay, so um, you didn't set any resolutions, but did you have goals for 2020? No, I more have things that I treasure or are grateful for that I want to keep being grateful for. Because okay. I, I tend to think that if you practice gratitude, um, the things that you're grateful for will take up more of your time and your life because you're focusing on it, right? Right. So yeah. there are certain things that I wish to um, grow and nurture that I feel very grateful for. Okay, so what? Those and those, are the I will, you know, that's, is that a goal? I don't know. I don't have a fixed goal. It's more of a, you know, it's remembering what, uh, these things that makes me happy. It's what you devote your energy towards. Yes. Okay, good. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. How about you? Besides the sleep thing, are you going to carry that into 2021? Oh, yeah, I think it's, I think it's a, uh, well, I, can, I was going to say a fixed thing that's always going to happen, yeah. but no, I, I, I will. I mean, I'm, I'm going to continue to uh, uh, try and you know maintain the level of sleep that I'm getting now, because like I said, it makes me feel better uh, during the day, and and most of the stuff you know time like I would stay up later and later watching like uh, movies or whatever, and and uh, there was no real reason, um, no, uh, for. For, I mean, I can watch all the crappy movies in the world, and it's not going to improve my life. Um, <laughs> so so I, I just do some for entertainment. Hey there, hey there, Donna, how you doing? Um, yeah, so uh, you know, it, it's I think it's uh, you know, as far as like devoting my energy towards uh, sleep rather than crappy movies is 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 beneficial. So how, is it still like something you have to uh, remember to do? Or yes, is it absolutely. now a habit for you? Ab absolutely, yeah. It's definitely something I have to remember to do. Because, uh, <laughs> you know, I, uh, you know, I, I like, I like I'll, you know, walk away from the chat here and whatever, usually right around 10 o'clock my time at night, mm. and go and watch a film. Um, but once I'm done with whatever film that is, um, previously, I'd watch another film. <laughs> just you know and now you don't yeah so now so but you know i'm tempted to most most every night uh but uh i try not to because no 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 where, where could i where 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 what's better use of my time sleep or watching mm. another crappy movie <laughs> <laughs> i my phone reminds me like you know when i when i'm at you know because i have to get up at a certain time to be at work Right. Well, now I'm working at home, but I like to get an hour or an hour and a half before that, right? Take my dog out and stuff. Sure. So so I'm on an alarm clock in the morning, and it tells me like half an hour before I should go to bed. Oh, it does. You got, so you got a, 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 a bedtime alarm. Yeah, it tells me to. And then it, you know, just puts everything on my phone on silence. And... Uh, okay. So it kind of you know, starts a get ready to bed kind of thing. Okay. Um, well, I don't use my phone for anything, really. Uh, my my stupid, smart cell phone. <laughs> yeah, the only thing I do use it for is uh, texts from my family. Uh, and, you know, I, I, I used to really think that how stupid texts were. But I've realized they're much better. You don't have to talk to people. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to. Re you don't have to respond right away or nothing. No, it's perfect. Yeah. So I, I, I so that's that's a benefit that I've found recently. That hey, texts are actually they actually work pretty cool. And and since I use the uh, voice to text thing, I don't have to try and type on the idiot little keyboard mm. they put on there. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, yeah, that works. That works for me. Of course, it's kind of weird to me that the, uh, the voice to text thing, you have to actually speak like uh, period, comma. Uh, <laughs> you do that? <laughs> yeah. I've never used voice to text, never, ever in my whole life. Oh, well. I've yeah. never even talked to my phone and went, hey, Google, look up something. I No, I've never done that, but just to, during the during the text, if I want to everything not to be all run together and it look like there's 
you know, some some kind of coherence to the language that I'm putting into it, uh, then then yeah, I'll, I'll talk and then I'll say da 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 period, and then it starts a new <laughs> sentence. It, 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 yeah, but you have to actually say the word period and not da 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 da. Well, maybe if, <laughs> if if that's your you know, it depends on who you're speaking to. True, true. <laughs> I don't know. I think I think a phone, my smartphone, and I have an Apple phone something, right? Old iPhone something. It replaces a lot of little itty-bitty gadgets for me. Before yeah. the smartphones, right? I would have a digital camera. I'd have a, a work uh, iPad or something, you know, um, iPod or something to play music to, right? Okay. I would have an alarm clock. I would have... Tons of stuff that are now compacted into this little phone. <laughs> Kate, yeah, Kate says she, uh, she she sat one there, and then when she said the word question mark, it, it actually typed the words question mark. <laughs> 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 oh, that's good. Um, <laughs> oh, flash so close. Anyway, um, no, I my cell phone has not replaced. I still use. I, I have a nice digital camera that I use. Um, so it's better than, I don't know, I like it better. I don't know if it is better, but I like it better than, than the cell phone camera. Um, I just, and, yeah. and one thing about that is, um, you know, if they're tracking everything you do on your phone, which they are, um, if you take pictures, then they got that too. But if I use my camera, it, it's not tracking any of me. And it's not that I'm doing anything where they're tracking would, uh, uh, be a big thing, but I just don't want them doing it. Well, you got the same EXIF data on uh, a digital camera, though. Well, it it, it all depends. It all depends um, because I I use a program called Earth and View. Are you familiar with that? Yeah. I am. Well, okay. that's just after once you shoot it, then you have to um, clear there clear the EXIF clear data. <laughs> yeah. 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 You can do that with a GIMP or Photoshop too, but. Uh, Wipe out all the non JPEG yeah, yeah, yeah. data. Sure, you could do yeah. it with GIMP or Photoshop, but but Earth and View is much lighter and it loads faster and everything's easier. Uh, for, yeah, I used to for, do it for, for my um, for the simple stuff, you know. It it used to be my my uh, go to raw converter. Okay, yeah, well, that's great. Hey, back in the old days, it was an itty bitty small plugin that you would basically just use to convert raw files into. Um, you know, TIFF or JPEG or um, something like that. Yeah, yeah, and, and you can do batch conversions. You know, it's it's nice. Yeah. Anyway, whatever. Um. <laughs> yeah. I used to shoot a lot in RAW. I don't even know what that format is. Well, that's where it it uh, the camera didn't uh, apply any settings or compression on the the RAW file, so you just have the RAW file. Oh, RAW. That's what you're saying. RAW. Yeah. I thought, you saying, I thought you were saying roll. <laughs> raw. No. Like, I don't raw. know what this roll file is. Raw. Oh, raw. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Danglish. No, no oh. I think, I think, yeah, Danglish. No, I think, I kind of like my, and I just went ahead and I, um, I actually got myself a new iPad that's going to replace all my drawing tools. Oh, well, my tablet, yeah. my tablet broke and I haven't replaced oh. it. Not that I really used it for anything. Um, well, there, I did. I did use. I, I uh, put this little, nice little guitar tuner app on it, and uh, that was cool. Um, yeah. But I, I could do that with my phone if I want to. Um. <laughs> yeah. But but uh, but I, I I you know I researched it and I you know all the all the internet says right. You got to trust the internet, right? Says that the best drawing what? kit right now is a is an Apple iPad and an Apple Pen. Well, I don't know about that. I don't really draw anything, so um, no. no. But you you've learned to play the bass now, right? You're gonna learn. No, to play I bass? haven't. I only got it like three days ago, so no. Yeah. Um. <laughs> get to it. <laughs> my little brother, my my brother sent me that. Um, yeah, I heard. Yeah. Sounds okay. like you have a. Uh, are you like the kid brother? No, no, I'm ten years older. Really? Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, because you know, I was pretty sure you were going to be the kid brother because they all spoiled you like that. No, I don't. I don't know why. I mean, whatever. I guess they like me, yeah. um, which is kind of weird because I tend to ignore them. But 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's why they like you. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Um, so no, no, he, uh, whatever. He sent me that. Um, but he asked me, you know, so you know how to play the bass or, and I said, no, I, I never even touched a bass guitar. Uh, prior to opening the box when this thing came in. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no, it, I, I, I just think it's more my, I think it's going to be more my style, more, uh, yeah, you know, it, it's more logical, um, well, more mathematical, yeah. um, uh, not not so I much. I think a tuba would be more your style, though. A tuba. <laughs> it's kind of a bassy thing, too. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You're one of the few people that can carry a tupa and not look like a midget, right? I could easily, yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> but no, I'm not. I'm not into. Oh, you're the, not going to start. Uh, I'm not, not into though. brass or woodwinds or any of those things you blow into. <laughs> you could be like the only blues playing tuba um, um, musician on the planet. There probably are some. You know, I don't know. Yeah, well, you know, some of those German blues bands, they probably throw, throw in the accordion and other and tubas and other Oompa Loompa kind of stuff. <laughs> those same Germans. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Oh, man. Yeah. We get run over in the summer with the Germans. Lots of German tourists here in the summer. Really? And yeah. And do a lot of Danes? Go to Germany for the summer? Uh, not not as many. So, no. you, so it's not like a... Danes go to Spain an for the summer. equal exchange. Huh? Oh, okay. Spain. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Germans come to Denmark. They take over all the uh, summer vacation houses in Denmark. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so music is going to be one of the important things for you, huh, Grimnir? Well, it's always been an important thing for me since I was a little kid. Have you set up a goal for your bass, or are you just no, a, no? Know? I just I just want to, uh, you know, learn where all the notes are, um, and it's all like I said, it's all very mathematical um, as to where everything is. Uh, but uh, learn, learn where all the notes are. Uh, learn learn some you know uh, bass riffs. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing nothing real important. I, I mean, I'll never be a great bassist. I don't think anyway. But um, I, I can think you hear I, this? I, what? Can you hear, can you hear this? Hear what? The cat is in my face. I cannot. I hear can that. barely hear you from the purring of the cat. Oh well, sorry. <laughs> I figured. Are you interrupting the whole stream with your purring little cat? Get out of there, cat! Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah. Well, oh, anyway. he, he, that's true, Flash. He could have played the the floor bass too. You have the height to play the floor bass too, right? Yeah, but you know, then I'd be like anti or something. Well, the floor bass is kind of neat, though. Oh no, it's cool. Yeah, I, I definitely you know do some like rockabilly or whatever. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So, 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 are you 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 planning on learning that you know an instrument next year? I am. I am. Yeah. yeah. I think. I think. I actually didn't. I make a uh, prediction. I think, or uh, whatever. Not a prediction. Oh. A, a resolution. Yes. A uh, resolution. Yeah. To learn to become adequate. That's and that's all I ever need. I just. I don't need to be great. I only need to be adequate. Who will judge if you are adequate? Me. Adequate for what? I will. Oh, okay. For you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the I'm the only oh well, I'm the only opinion that I care about. <laughs> well, you, do, you could do a test or something. I could, but you know, whatever. Um, yeah, you have to play on a Elvis Presley level. By um, Elvis Presley, did he play anything? I don't think he played anything. He just sang. That's what I said. It'd be an easy goal to reach, though. <laughs> I didn't say it was a high level, did I? I just oh, said all right, all right. <laughs> and 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 uh, my my hips don't don't shake like that. No, no. I figure he plays a little something and something, right? Oh, they, uh, Musa said uh, Elvis played guitar. So yeah, then okay. he plays the bass too. Elvis plays the bass. I, I have never not. Okay, I'm just gonna say I've never known somebody who played the guitar who didn't know how to play the bass. Have you? Um, I don't know. I 
a lot of people that play guitar, all I ever see them play is guitar. I didn't, never seen them play the bass, so I don't know if they know but, how uh, or not. Oh. Oh, and, and Elvis played piano, says Donna, so, um, and he also played with the little girls, so. <laughs> well, there you go, Grimner. <laughs> if you and can't not, learn to play the bass, you got another different kind of target then. Yeah, well, I'm not going to learn to play with little girls, sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. You could do like a choir of them. Uh, yeah, no, that's not how he played with them. He oh, did. I see, like a xylophone of girls. He, he, yeah, he was. Yeah, nah, yeah. <laughs> he was a perv. <laughs> what? He was Elvis Presley. I know, I know. <laughs> and he was a country yeah. boy, so I think you know uh, yeah, that, that that adds to the. Thing. So yeah. anyway, well, how, yeah. do, how, how do we get on Elvis? We were talking. I don't know. We were talking about the important shit, oh. and Elvis Presley is part of the important shit. I figure. Well, maybe there's somebody. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I'm. I'm kind of my. Well, I'm not gonna go with the whole 2021, right? I'm. We're just heading for for summer solstice, right? We are. Yeah. What well, are, that, that. What are we gonna do with the light, right? Every time, every time you pass a summer solstice, you're heading towards a summer solstice. It just, you know, if it's like <laughs> it may yeah. it may be almost a year away, but it's you're still heading towards it. Uh. Unless you're running away from one, which you could only do if you could travel backwards in time. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I've never ran away from a summer solstice, did I? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. You got to yeah. have your 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 midsummer uh, celebrations, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 I don't know. I'm. I'm I think I'm going to spend an, at least the next another six more months on uh, the important shit here. At okay. Least. And and so tell me what what would be uh, the important shit to you. I was going to say during. I was going to say during the, this X time, but just in general, what is what is the important shit? What do you value? Well, that's my. Uh, what do you well, value? Life? I value. I value. Um, I value the the beach and the woods, though, right? Of course. Yes. I value. I value waking up at night, uh, being snored at from every angle by 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 um, both cat and a, a ogre, right? An ogre, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I really like that. So you enjoy being snored at, okay? Yeah, I like that. I like the I like being woken up to the to snoring of of the creatures that I love. Yeah. You're you're a weirdo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Hey. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, well, that's kind of important to me. Being a weirdo. No, waking up being snored at. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't All know. Right. I kind of like uh, cold knees in bed. Cold knees? Yeah. Because uh, this is a little fact about my husband. He's got ice cold knees. No matter what else, you know, his knees are icy cold always. But you like that, so you're not like going to get him some knee I do warmers. Now. Knee warmers. No, I do now. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> and I, I, you know, um, Yesterday was, uh, I took one of those walks yesterday that isn't really all that fun, though, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't it know. It was stormy and minus degrees, hail, straight in my face for like 45 minutes at the beach, right? And so why did you decide to stay out there for 45 minutes in that kind of weather? As the dog was enjoying her walk. Okay. So, and then, you know, so when you come that, home and you take on warm clothes and warm socks and you make a cup of coffee and you have a house to sit in and the, the dog is all tired from a good long walk and everything is nice and the husband is grumpy in the living room, then, you know, everything is just as it's, it is supposed to be, right? That right. is important to me. Okay. So what about your garden? Is that important? Well, not right now, though. 
Well, not in the winter, of course. Nothing to do with it. No, I know. Ask me in about uh, two months. Two months, I'll be having like a hundred tulips coming up. So, but uh, not right now. But as you think about doing it, yeah, it it is an important thing to you, right? It is. It is. Okay. It is. And I'm going to spend a lot of the next six months. You know, the six months of light. I'm going to be spending a lot of those in the garden. Okay. So anyway, going beyond us into the the general world out there, the general focus of the people, what do you mm-hmm. think is important to them? Mm. I, I was, I, you know, more and more it seems like that the most important thing to most people are safety. Right? Safety. And that's weird to me. It's because safety is an illusion, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah. And it's kind of childish, too. It it is, it is. Yeah. But it it seems to be the uh, growing trend among humans. Right. To want to be safe from everything and anything, right? Yeah, which is impossible. Yeah, yeah. Right. Especially when you got as much time as the human population do. Because one thing about humans, right, the more time we have, the more problems we can dream up. Right, right. I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Look at look at the world, how much time we humans have. <laughs> how many problems we dream up. Yeah. yeah and that yeah. we got to invent really um, problematic solutions for, though, right? Right, and and the solutions, of course, are quite often much worse than whatever perceived problem there was. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like this, this, well, of course, this, all this Corona nonsense, Corona balona, um, yeah. uh, and uh, the reaction, uh, planned reaction to it. Uh, of the, uh, the you know the lockdowns around the world, the compliance of the face masks, the people uh, yelling at each other or shooting at each other, actually mm-hmm. for for uh, over the masks. There was a story okay. a story I read last night, uh, just a little blurb really. Um, uh, this guy walked into like a, a gas station convenience store kind of thing, um, and uh, the, the guy there in the convenience store said, "Hey." Uh, you have to wear a mask to be in here, and whatever he said, whatever the words exchanged between them were, wasn't explained there. But he was so upset that when he left uh, the convenience store, got in the car with his buddy, he uh, leaned out the window there and fired some shots out of his gun into wow. the, into the convenience store because some moron in there said, "You have to have a mask to shop in here." Um, it's, uh, it's it's just ego though, right? They're, well, I, 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 I don't. I, 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 horrible I, ego though. I don't know if it's ego so much as as, as they're just disgusted by the fact that these people actually believe that these stupid masks are doing anything uh, beneficial but, for anybody. But it has to be ego if you care that much about what some stranger in a store believes. Well, no, because you went in there to to do your normal thing that you've always done throughout your life. And now suddenly you got to do this other thing in order to be in there, and, and you're pissed off because uh, I don't know if it's ego, it's just you know you don't like the uh, the ridiculous of it, of it, the inconvenience of it, um, whatever that whatever it may be. I I, I mean, um, and I I don't know how other people's like their if they do Twitter, what their Twitter timelines look like, and that all depends on who you follow. Because if you follow my timeline, everybody that I follow, you're going to see that 99.9% of people understand that this is all bullshit. Um, and, and, and what is important to them, as, as is important to me, mm. is the freedom. The freedom. Um, and, and you don't have that now because uh, people are, are willing to do bad things to you for not doing something totally ridiculous like wearing a freaking mask. And yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, I don't know. I um, see that comes back to another thing like safety, right? Another thing. And I'm, I'm probably going to provoke you and other people now. Right. All right. Go ahead. Uh, but another thing 
um, much like safety that I think is an illusion that people are chasing a lot is truth. You know. Well, truth truth is is a funny thing, isn't it? Because to me, what's truth is not going to be the same to as to say Rome's, for example, as to what is truth, because he he believes it all. He thinks it's all absolutely on the up and up, and that the government is out there trying to help us and and do what's best for us, and uh, this is these lockdowns and the masks and the vaccines. He thinks all that's accurate and correct and good information. Whereas, to me, the truth, I know the truth, to me, is it's all bullshit. Um, but to him, it's, it's well, when, when, I, when I point out that it's bullshit, he, he says, no, 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 my, my, my stuff is right, and, and your shit is bullshit. So truth, you, you know, <laughs> and, yeah. and he has facts on his side showing, showing, look, it's, these are all true, and I have facts on my side saying, no, 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 it's all a lie. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. so uh, t- truth, yeah, it's, it's a really funny thing. <laughs> it's, well, I, you know, it's sort of like safety, though, isn't it? Truth, facts. Some, some big illusion that, you know, you're going to chase. Oh, yeah. Somehow, it's, it, somehow it helps make a difference in all the chaos. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Well, you know, and, and of course, the, <coughs> it's well, not on my list on uh, really important things. Um, although I will say, because I can get hung up on truth, right? I can get get hung up on my truth and defending stuff and and being truthful and and all that, right? Because right. I'm. I'm a being of, um, of a horrible, terrible sense of justice, though. Yeah. Well, you know, there's a lot of I people. Seem to be a slave of it. There's a there's a lot of people that think that like uh, 9/11 uh, that happened exactly as they were told it happened by the government. But there's others of us that know that 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 it's impossible for that to have been that way. Uh, hmm. the, the, the physics just don't match up. Uh, the whole Building 7 issue doesn't match up. Uh, the Pentagon thing doesn't match up uh, uh, because there was no plane there. Um. <laughs> I, I got to be honest, that whole thing, right? Yeah. To me, to me, what's important in all that, right, is uh, even if that was, you know, um, uh, Taliban-y, whatever, uh with box cutters and everything, the official <laughs> story is right and all that, right? Even though all that, I don't. I think it's a it's a sick world where that act um, justified so many years of war afterwards. Well, not not just that. See, and that and that's horrible, of course. What they've done over there in Afghanistan. Um, uh, they Pakistan, said, all right, we're, uh, Lebanon, well, they said we're, yeah. we're we're going after this one guy. And and so they blew up a whole country over that, and then they blew up a second country, which was Iraq, um, uh, over that when Iraq had absolutely no connection to the nine eleven thing. Um, yeah. uh, however, their good buddies Saudi Arabia did, and they never went after Saudi Arabia. But the real thing, they, they, the real thing that affects uh, me and most other Americans and other people all around the world was the Patriot Act. And the Patriot Act, of course, was written well in advance of the 9-11 situation. Um, and that has been used to, to increase the uh, surveillance and spying and intrusion uh, on, on people's lives everywhere around the world uh, because, because of the crap that America does is, is pushed out around the world, you know. Um, <laughs> it, just like you know, all you, I'm sure in the UK for sure, but probably there in Denmark too. If you try to get on a plane, you got to go through all these all this nonsense uh, to get on there. You, you know, take off your shoes, take off your belt, no more than three ounces of whatever liquid from some stupid yeah. underwear yeah. bobber. All this crap that was yeah. pushed out in the name of the huge lie that was 9/11. Yeah. Uh, and even okay, even see that's where the truth is not that important to me, right? Because no matter what happened that day in New York, right, or those days or whatever, right, mm-hmm. nothing of what happened afterward 
can be justified by the losses or the act alone um, with the bombing, right? Uh, yeah, so the planes, right? Or whatever. Yeah. Bombing. It was. It was actually a bombing. That was. <laughs> it, it was actually a bombing, but 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 we gotta blame it on some planes. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, but but that was a, a you know, uh, I say the government, but you know it's it's not really the government. It's above the government. The, those but that that's it. Just proves how sick, uh, how twisted and sick the world has become, right? Where. Um, Let's say what three and a half thousand dead Americans, you know, Sunni Tadden, horrible thing, um, but it does not justify the the years and years and years upon you know of war crimes afterwards. Right, it does not. And 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 you just you know you you're sitting in the world, right? Right. And that is not even part of the struggle. That's not even part of the reaction of the world. Right. Nobody's not even close to saying, okay, we understand war empire, that 3,000 of your citizens is a horrible loss, mm -hmm. but enough already with, with, you know, the aggressions, right? They killed, they killed over a million Iraqis over nonsense, over over some idiot standing up in the UN with a little vial of powder saying, this came from the Iraqis. But then they they went in there uh, saying it was some kind of a toxic agent. Um, uh, anthrax, I think they called it. <laughs> are, they not, are they not using depleted uranium in um, in the bombs and, and oh, absolutely ammunition they that they're using in the Middle East? Oh, of course, of course they are. How does anything, how does any attack on American people even justify doing that? Well, not not only the 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 attack on the Iraqis with the depleted uranium, but they all all of their own their soldiers, the United States soldiers over there, all got affected by that depleted uranium too. Of course, far more than the three thousand that were that were killed on nine eleven. And so many generations are going to grow up with that shit in the water and in the soil, in the air, everywhere. Right. So, so I see, and that's where uh, all of the truth doesn't. It, it. I don't understand the how how that is being. You know, how is that so important about the truth of what happened that day? Look at what. Look at what we don't even have to discuss what happened afterwards. Right. So I mean, you know, it goes on and on um, uh, w with with this truth nonsense because, I guess, you know, <laughs> yeah. so, so many people, yeah. so many people still believe the the official story of nine eleven. So many people still still believe that JFK was killed by a lone gunman sitting in a book depository. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah. so many people think that voting actually matters. Uh, it, come what is on. the newest thing we're supposed to believe? Voting matters. No, the guy in the Nashville. Who? What are we supposed? Oh, to oh, believe? oh the this, Nashville what bomber. What are we supposed to believe then? What What's the official story I'm supposed to believe? I I don't know. He was depressed over something and lone nut. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the saying. He was he he was definitely a lone nut. He, he had planned this all out ahead of time, and and there's been some evidence that 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 is the case, but. Uh, as to what well, race is sleeper, right? A what now? Oh, he's a sleeper, right? Yeah, yeah, a I sleeper thought... agent. Well, he, you know, MK Ultra affected brain. Yeah, and mm -hmm. uh, but 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 um... he could just been accidentally woken up as a sleeper, right? What well, about accidentally? I think it was intentional. Oh, maybe you know. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Also, Kate Kate points out the five G uh, paranoid. I, I heard that too. That the uh, uh, he was upset about the whole 5G implementation going on, and no appara course. apparently, uh, from whatever he's done, somehow has accelerated the 5G implementation rather than stopping it or exposing it or slowing it down. Um, <laughs> it's a, yeah, I don't know if this is Nashville mayor's theory or whatever, but uh, yeah. uh, somehow what, what he what he what he did down there in Nashville. And 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 I do believe it was the guy uh, that he did do it, but uh, his uh, uh, the causes or reasons behind that. Um, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, I, I, I'm just I, saying. Usually, when there's car bombs, right? They're on Mossad agents too. Of course, of course. There's also the five G tie into Corona. Um, yeah. <laughs> which, which is not beyond the realm of the possibility that five G yeah. could could give you Corona like symptoms. Um, <laughs> so. I don't know. I, you know, uh, David Icke once said, right, um, that this world is ruled by unbelievably sick people, right? Yeah, absolutely is, yes. Yeah. Once I heard that quote, right, from David Icke, I remember hearing it the first time, and I, at that point I knew, okay, these people are unbelievably sick. I am never, ever going to see through any of their games because I am not unbelievably sick. Well, yeah, do you have to? I'm never going to understand your bullshit because I'm not unbelievably sick, right? Do you have to be unbelievably sick to understand those that are? I would say so, yeah. If if the shit is this sick, I don't think my mind has the capability of connecting dots in any way that would be any way representative about how sick this is. Okay, well, I, I believe you're right on that. See, I I, I always try and comprehend, understand. Um, I, I have a friend of mine um, that will sometimes will watch a movie uh, like at the same time, and then and then and then uh, call and, and and discuss it with her uh, afterwards. And and sometimes those movies are about totally crazy people. And and uh, and I was like, I'm trying to figure out, you know, why this. And she says. Don't try and understand the insane. <laughs> crazy people. <laughs> well, there are a lot of the films, you know, they, they because, you know, that's a good storyline, the crazy person doing crazy crap. Um, and, and so, and so, uh, so I, I, I always try and, you know, figure out what's their logic, what was the purpose behind that, and she just puts it out there flat. Don't try and understand the insane. <laughs> <coughs> I would say... The more insane the plot twist is, right, the less, you know, sane people can predict it. Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, we can all, you know, like, we can all to certain, you know, the basic instinct kind of psycho, right? We can understand that one. No, oh, maybe. some psycho who got jealous or yeah, some emotion that obsession. we know where they just lost control, right? Right, yeah, just obsession, right, we can empathize that, right? A little bit. <laughs> but, <clears throat> but you know, the Prince Andrew bloodline, Queen of Denmark, Illuminati kind of sick. Mm-hmm. How 5G, you know, with Chinese blood and, and something else, with how all that is tied to My mind is never going to be that sick that I can even understand that. I, I, I Well, yeah, no, I wouldn't. I mean... We understand that they're evil, and that they do, <laughs> yeah. e- and that they do evil things for their own gratification, in some way or not. Uh, but to understand their 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 logic or reasoning, if they have that, um, uh, yeah, that that's it's it's too twisted to actually uh, put your put your mind around. Because they have a, what, a plot line that's what thousands of years long. Apparently, yeah, going back to ancient <laughs> Egypt at least, right? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm I'm going to go with you know, um, researching stuff. You know, can be fun, which is you know, it's a fun activity to do, right? Sure, yeah, it helps you understand some part of whatever it is yeah. you're looking into. And you can you can go on these research adventures, right? But but you know spend as for me spending my life you know chasing the truth, trying to get to the bottom of things. Right. I don't. I'm never gonna. That's not important to me. That's definitely not on my most important shit list. But if you, could, I'd rather I'd but, rather learn to crochet new stitches though. Okay, but but if you could use your research to somehow eliminate. These these crazy power monger freaks. Would that not be important? Uh, two things about that. Um, first off, uh, I don't believe it can. So, okay. Um, 
and second of all, should should somehow the entire fate of the human you know race on planet Earth be tied into what I you know my extra um, my hobby, <laughs> what I'm going to research with my time and what I'm going to do with that knowledge? Right. If that you know if that was the layout of the planet. I would probably go with fuck you people then. <laughs> Do your own goddamn research. No. So so no no. If, even if I could save the entire you know future of humanity through my research, I wouldn't dedicate my life to that. No. Okay, but if you would you? Well, if if I was able to to point out the people, as I try to do from time to time that their belief in the authority of those people that are doing all the nasty things uh, to, to the entire planet, that their belief in that authority is, is what's causing or allowing that to continue. And people took that and understood it, took it to heart, and said, all right, we're, not, we're, we're, we're going to ignore all the commands and demands and laws and regulations and all the nasty shit that's causing all these problems to us in the first place. We're going to know that, that they're lying to us day in and day out, um, and, and we're just not going to do it. Then, and it would have to be all the people. It can't just be a, you know, like a small majority, a small minority. Um, but you don't need to spend your entire life researching some obscure truth to do that. Well, how? most people, one, you know, I, it, I, most I people, when I speak to them, once I start calling state monopoly on violence, most people understand and grasp what that means. Right. I've never needed to be, you know, to, to bring forth some giant truth to get to the heart of how violent state is. An unfounded violent state is. Is there is there a founded violence somewhere? Uh, well, there is though, isn't there? Is there? Somehow there is, yeah. Okay. Well, there is the one where you tear the arm of a man because he raped your five-year-old daughter, right? Well, I that, know, that's I... a founded kind of violence, isn't all right, it? All right, but that that's the uh, the violent. Viol uh, I know I went too far, didn't I, with the arm and the five-year-old kid? No. Yeah, I mean, I, I, if if I had a daughter and some idiot came in and and, and abused her, assaulted her in whatever manner, I'd just kill him. I wouldn't, yeah. I would I wouldn't rip his arm off or whatever. I, I'd, just, I'd just kill him dead. Um. But wouldn't that be some sort of founded violence? You know. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, and, and I can understand that. Um, yeah, sure. But I, I mean, I'm talking but about the, uh, on, on the scale. The, uh, this on... guy over here needs uh, something that you're going to pay for, so now I'm going to bring some goons and thugs in to take some stuff from you and give to him. That's definitely unfounded violence, though. Right. Yeah, no, and, and, that's, and that's what they're doing around the world. I mean, that, and that's what they have done, uh, you know, as far as their reach would allow them at any point in history. Uh, which is now it's global, but you know, in like you know, Middle Ages, you only had a you know a few hundred yeah, miles was was a, was a long way. Uh, Middle so. East, Middle Ages, it was the churches, though, right? The churches did well, the same uh, thing, taxed uh, the shit. The churches and the nobles taxed the shit out of everybody. Well, they did that, and they also went and attacked other lands in order to try and gain their whatever they had for themselves. Um, and the the only reason they could do that is because people believed in their their authority, whatever that, however, whatever shape that took, uh, and went out and fought and died and killed uh, for their belief in that authority. Well, well, my yeah. king, my king says I've got to go over here and 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 steal whatever you've got, and and the yeah. other guy on the other side says the same thing. Well, I've got to defend, you know, what we have against you coming here. So we're going to kill you as you try and kill us. And <laughs> Yeah. And then you had, you know, the Luther movement, right? Yeah, the Luther. The Martin uh, Luther guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, right? too, he said you don't have to pay gold to your church to get into heaven. Right. And he posted that on and all the, the church, doors of all yeah. the, 
Yeah. Church didn't like him. No, no, no. They didn't. They didn't want anybody, you know, breaking that, breaking that down to let people know. But uh, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, Protestants and Lutherans out there now that uh, yeah. uh, due to his yeah. efforts, yeah. He he became big in Denmark. See, you? I I you know I've and I've <laughs> never had a. I mean, I I try and tell people, uh, but nobody listens to me. <laughs> Yeah. Nobody cares. Nobody cares Nobody what cares. I got to say, or or if they listen, they they don't believe me anyway. Uh, so no. you know, so I'm just so uh, so. Just um, he got five minutes left, right, Grimner? Yeah, yeah, five minutes, four minutes. Yeah, and uh, we were going to talk about the important stuff, right? So what did we talk about? We talked an awful lot about Elvis, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you, apparently, he's much. on the list of important stuff. Apparently, yeah, somehow. Uh, uh, then we talked that off a lot about war and killing, right? War, killing, lies, lies, Truth. lies, lies, and lies. Yeah. yeah. Do Do you believe that because there is a lie, there has to be a truth, or can there just be lies and the truth is not even there no more? Oh no, there's obviously there's some truth somewhere if if you can discern it for you know between the lies, um, and uh, I mean there. There has to be an actual truth, I would say, <laughs> of, of various things. I mean, you know, there's mathematics, there's physics. These things are real. These things are true. Um, when well, was the last time you read something truthful? The last time? I, I, I don't know. Um, I, I, I don't know. The last time I read something truthful, there's things that I believe are truthful. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean they are. So, well, I, I, I think a couple of weeks ago I was hanging up Christmas lights and I read the manual to how to put the batteries in the battery box. I suppose that's really close to something truthful, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, that, I mean, this that's, 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 just, just, that's just plain instruction. You know, for example, like uh, um, I, I always you know, diss the we the website Wikipedia because yeah. it's it's always people various political entities go in there and manipulate the information. But yeah, I still fun. but I still use the website because on some things there's no reason for them to do that and the information is accurate. Uh you know, like talking yeah. about uh, musicians or whatever. They they don't go in there and say um Elvis Costello is this old when he's actually what is some other age? They 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 don't lie about that. Uh, or or what's with Elvis? I'm talking about a different Elvis. Um, or, or 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 YouTube. YouTube is horrible as far as allowing people to post up their views and opinions on the truth. But they are awesome for music, for the most part. Um, <laughs> so uh, you know, is the truth that YouTube is a horrible place and you should never go there? No. The truth is, um, if you try and post up information up there that they don't want to, the world to see, then it's a horrible place to be. Um, so so find, yeah, well, find uh, another place for that information. Well, if you're looking for hidden truth and political facts on the Internet, you're kind of you're gonna have to dig through a whole lot of shit, though, right? Right, and you're gonna have to filter it through your own brain in order to get out. Um, yeah, you know yeah. the important stuff. <laughs> I would I would assume you would have a better luck finding something that comes close to documented truth on the deep web than you would on the internet, though. But I would assume that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't deep web it, so I don't know. <laughs> All right. No. Anyway, there's we're, a lot of bullshit on the white web, though. Yeah, we're we're out we're out of time here. Um, so thanks, everybody, there in the RLM chat and wherever else people might be listening from for tuning in to It's All Connected Today with Grim there in Circle. And uh, we'll be back next Monday, I hope. Um, what is next Monday? What is today? Okay. Yeah, we'll be, we'll, be, we'll be back next year after this horrible, horrible 2020 goes away. Then we'll have horrible 2021 instead. Well, I'd um, like to. I'd like to, you know, give a shout out to 2020 for not being all that fucking horrible, though. Well, it wasn't for me, but I. But it was for a lot of people. 
Um, yeah. Yeah. It and had some good size, too. Sure, sure. Yeah. Um, and and, and if, if anything comes out of all of this, all these lies and constrictions that, that have been uh, given to you, applied to you, is that more people see that it's all lies in, at, at this point in time. So that's, that, that, that's a benefit. Um, well, because for every action, there's going to be a reaction, though, right? Apparently. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what that's what, that's what physics says. Um, any, anyway, yeah. <laughs> so um, uh, must be some truth. To I'll that. be back Friday night with the Moose Grill on the Freakers Ooh. Ball on the Freakers Ball, and uh, and then again on Sunday with the Blues for y'all. I hope y'all like the Blues more than and, the, um, and more. Happy New Year's, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Happy New Year and all yeah. that stuff. Y'all have a great rest. Even though, even though the new phase really begun, you know, on the 21st, 21st, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. It did. So everybody get, moving get your uh, requests in for the Freakers Ball. Get your predictions and, and resolutions in and all that wonderful stuff. And, I don't uh, know if I can do... I've been thinking a lot about the predictions, Grimner. And I, I feel that... Um, the expectations of the predictions are too high. I'm going to cave. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. You don't have to. I'm just saying if you no, have no. any, if you have something you feel, you believe uh, is going to happen, let us know and we'll talk about it. <laughs> but I, then I keep coming up with silly ones. That's okay. <laughs> because I was told no silly ones. So well, then my you, mind you know, automatically um, makes silly ones. Uh, uh, we We try to avoid silly ones, but... I know. That's but, what I'm saying. But but they're always there. They're they're always going to come through. So, um, huh. yeah. Not for me. All right. Well, thanks everybody. Yeah. Have a good one. Peace. Peace.